розповідається. Мені є 12 грудня, і я нарешті собі винаймив апарат і машину, щоб вам накрутити чи тачну. Я маю цю машину з тобою тільки на ній чебе, то я буду під час свічок пару днів вам показувати чоди, корабель і другого міста. І якби була гарна погода, то я вам покажу навіть гори, я буду з товаришем їхати в гори. На жаль, мені падає дощ, то типічно падає дощ і дуже мрячно на дворі раду видно. Тепер одинадцята п'ять вечора. У нас нічна тиша є около десятої години. Але я часто тут йду, це я сам ззад корабля, де я можу собі трохи вчити, щоб я маю свої курси всі здавати, щоб я міг стати так званим періодом. Це тринадцять книжок я маю. Тринадцять книжок буде іспит сто. 100 запитань, і я мушу його здати до кінчасу і цього тижня, це я маю багато вчитися. Також я ще недавно дістав результати свого осадного іспиту, це 100. То мені добре поступає зі своїми студіями. Та як ви бачите, я собі може 4 тижні тому почав запускати борду, бо це є сезон, коли всі моряки запускають, тепер зима в нас. Кажуть, що зима на дворі може 40 степені і падає дощ, так званий. Мені приємно вас всіх видіти. Хай Андрій. Я не знаю, що він також буде це все видіти. Більше цей тачмі, я роблю цю цитину по-українську говорю. Мені трохи дивно говорити по-українську, бо той мій товариш, що тебе тримає пара, він не має зелено опиняти, що я вам говорю. Але я решту тачмі буду говорити по-англійськи, не тому, що мені я не хочу вам говорити по кричці, але то буде мені багато легше ходити по членам кораблі, бо всі будуть мене дивно дивитися, якби я вам говорив по кричці. Що я іншого можу вам сказати? Я почну вам фільмувати завтра, завтра робочий день. Я завтра мушу вставати, так як все, з шестій години рано. Може, я стану трохи скорше і сфільмую вам, як то вільдаю, як шістій рано. Все таки трохи буде цікаво. Що іншого я маю вам сказати? Ви бачите, що ви питаєте, як я ще мав одну строю, як я вернувся з свого так званого бейсик, що я мав всі дуже одну строю і чисті. Що вам маєш шуз? Я кажу, що я не знаю. Це як виглядають робочі червики. Це як виглядають робочі червики. Я маю фарбу, подерти трохи, і що я ще мав більше ніж ще маю. Окей, я буду повернути до цього. Yeah, I thought I told him about uh, everybody goes a beard this time of year, you know? No, I know you have to be a good thing, but it's a good thing to be 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 a good thing. I have a little bit of a shop, I bought it for you. Mom, I have to ask you if you can give me something. It's hard to choose. It's hard to choose for you. 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 Petre, that I... Я тобі дарунок вже дав великий, то я не буду розчарований, що ти так багато не сієш від мене на різдво. Також я хотів згадати пару речей, тако ж є, так сказати, по-англійськи є «while I'm on the subject», але я маю три просьби, я думаю, що одна, і по юрку, і по тип, тобто не сьогодні з хати, тому її голоснаки лишаються вдома, я не хочу їх брати з хати. Два, я щоб ніхто не позичував мого ровера, ані моїх листачків червиків, бо то є мені вірні речі. І... Ой, я не питаю, що тут третє було. Ну... Так що так. Я тепер буду закінчувати, мені буде... Two sisters and uh, two brothers too. Oh, two sisters and two brothers? That's pretty gay there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on back here. I forgot to call him one more thing. Is the numbers moving? Sure enough. Okay. Yeah? Oh, okay. We have a lot of problems with the machine. The battery is just in the dobby. So, I must first look at it. I'm just going to sleep. I'm going to talk to you about it. Я тебе навіть не пам'ятаю, що вам ті дурі чтини, бо я не маю як послухати те, що я фільмовую. Але я вікі, я мушу йти спати. 
Та, я не знаю, я маю на дві години накрутити теж, бо то куди я мав вам що сказати. А, добра ніч. At the end of a typical work day here, uh, everybody comes around to uh, hang out in the bosun hole and avoid being caught doing nothing. Say hi, Alon. Hi, my mom. I got two sisters and two brothers going to watch this. There you go. Hello. Anyway, this is everybody else. This is Smitty. This is Smith. I've told you all about Smith before. Take off your hat. Take off your hat. Tell, tell them why they call you the, the party reptile. I am the iguana. Yeah. The one, the only. The iguana. That's I right. party to oh, the man. I party right. so him. You don't uh, see me, man. I'm out on the Why did they, why did they used to call you Why did they call you Fruit Loops? <laughs> ah, cause I told on some guy, you know, he's, st he's still on oh, Fruit Loops out of the mess tank, man. Yeah. Start calling me Fruit Loops. Just doing your job. My huh? best friend now, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Beer, beer cat is drunk. It's my EM partner. Uh, let's see. Who will? Monday or something like that. We uh, just finished the typical work day. We work from 7 o'clock in the morning till 1 in the afternoon. It's 101 right now, so most people are uh, standing in Shyline. We'll check out Shyline. Go ahead and show them the rest of the people on the. Uh, this is uh, uh, the recreational deck. Here, hand me the camera. I'll go ahead and take it from here. This is the. Uh, I'm I don't want to pick one. This is the rec deck. That's 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 the the couch potato. That's stones. Let's get a close up of the couch potato. Let's get this in focus. Okay, there you go. This is the couch potato. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, okay, right there. That's Garcia. New he's, boot. Yeah, he's he's a boot. boot. There's Smitty. There's there's the party reptile. The there's, bulkhead. There's the bulkhead. Yes. There, there there's the Tappen. Yeah, there's Tappen. Pluto. He's another new guy. New we got boot. a lot of new guys here. Pluto. There's there's, there's the <laughs> philosopher. Yeah, Sorry that's right. There's there's, there's there's Buford T. What's your last name? Long. There you go. Buford T. Long. And this guy that was holding the camera last. That's McGillivray. Hi, mom. Dad. And all his <laughs> siblings. All his kids, see. <laughs> siblings, um, illegitimate kids. Yeah, four year olds. Yeah. Four year olds, Alex? <laughs> so, a punk rocker. He's standing right by my rack. Uh, this is uh, this is where I sleep. It's a uh, real friendly kind of place. That's uh, a guy named Fluke sleeps there. Buford sleeps down there in the bottom it's in the hole. Buford. His name's not Buford, he says, but we call him that. He's a friendly kind of guy. Thanks, Mike. Okay, this is the rest of the birthing area. Got boot corner here. Boot corner. That's right. We are the family. There, there's the rocker. <laughs> there's Smitty, doing nothing like usual. We live. Let's work our way up here where we'll uh, go see who's at the chow line. This is where we live. There's the head. This is the head. It's not a bathroom. It's the head. Let's see if we got any action here. Oh, you got to You got to check this out. This is a. We have suction on the uh, urinals and the uh, stuff. You can't just have regular drainage. It has suction. It goes like. It's incredible. Suction right up. Well, just suck it right up. Now, Chief Coles, it is requested you contact the quarterdeck for phone call. Okay, this is. Fancy work we've been working on on the rails. Oh, got somebody coming down there. It's the couch potato again. Yeah, what do you need? That's gonna be cool. Everyone's gonna shit. Oh, the chow line's back here. Everybody waits back there. Let's see if we can get them. There's everybody watching TV, hanging out. I'm gonna try doing this again. I just put a new uh, battery pack in here, but the battery packs are torn up. This is everybody who's been waiting several days for the food on this ship. They're sitting here. That's Willie on the left. That's Martino on the right. Yeah, that's Willie. I'll zoom in on Willie for you. Willie Delaney, the Irish Mexican. There you go. There's our ship store. As you can see, we've got a wide, wide selection of things. Let's, there's Mr. Olson. He runs the ship store. This is mine. This is the, well, the camera. I rented it to exchange. Forty-three dollars for three days, and the battery packs they give you with them are lousy. Let, let's show them some of the wide selection of merchandise here, sir. Let's show them all these neat merchandise you got here. Yes, this is color. Of course, it's color. There's a Yakona sweatshirt. That's the finest. 
This is what he could have sent you. I know that you're corner. This is what he could have sent you if he didn't waste money buying the vid right That's right, camera. that's right. I've got it. Yeah, it's gone. You're an ugly son of a... <laughs> oh, <laughs> granola bars. There we are. <laughs> Oh, there we have. So, yeah. Why did you have to show them that? Now they're gonna expect me to write them and stuff. Hey, somebody call a quarterback. Uh oh, I better get out of the way here because they're gonna soon stampede me for chow. Yeah, that's that's about it in the ship store. It's a happening kind of place. Thank you, Mr. Olson. See, there's a everybody in the back of the line. I'm gonna zoom in. There's there's Buford again with McGilvery, his buddy. <laughs> People get friendly on the ship. <laughs> we all live in Oh, here, let's watch this. Boy, the noon meal is being served. There's Willie. He's second and third in line right now. Oh, uh, let's, let's, let's see what the guy. Yeah, there, there. Hey, there's Eric. Hi, Eric. Oh, there's Martino's hand. I'm Eric. Let's go see what we got for food here today. I'm kind of cutting in line, but. Uh, excuse me, we're going to show this fine chow to my uh, parents here, so they'll know that I eat well, going healthy. Oh, there's Lassel! Oh, oh, gosh! There's uh, Berglund, he's one of our cooks. These are potatoes. Oh, let's see the potatoes. These are potatoes. Oh, let's uh, let's watch Petty Officer Cole here as he goes through the line. That's, That's spinach. Is that really? That's spinach. Okay. That's what they took out of the prop. <laughs> yeah, they just cleaned the propellers today. Scallops. Oh my. We're talking scallops. Okie doke. Where's the beef? I bet your mouths are watering now. Let's get a nice. This is the fish we got. Pinkai. Yeah, That's right, we got. Sebus. And uh. Make sure you got vinegar up. Oh, that that looks good too. My my. I think I'll put this camera down and. Have some lunch. There's our main appliance, of course. This is no kitchen is complete without a deep fat fryer. There, this one's seen a lot of use. This deep fat fryer came with the ship in 1942, and they've changed the last time the grease was changed. That's about it. That's it. Of course, I'm in a bad way here. I'm gonna get stampeded. I'll show you the mess back here. Martino is what? Martino's short. He's really short. He's got. He's got that much time left on this ship, and boy, don't you know he's happy about that. That's, that's Martino being happy. There's, look at all these great Christmas decorations. Oh, hey, Martino is talented. Look at this. What a guy, what a guy. See, that's a, this is a first class table. This is where all these guys with those things on their collars eat. Yeah, that's strawberry shortcake. Isn't that colorful? And a Coke. Oh, my. Let's see. There's everybody back there. We're, we're There's White. He gets to eat first because he's a mess uh, cook. Yeah, he, uh, he gets to wait on people like I did when I was first here. There's White. He's enjoying his meal too. Oh boy. Wide selection of salad dressings. All right, that's about it. There's Willie. He's always on the phone. This is uh, this is what's known as a scullery. This is where uh, scullery is a, a fancy military word for dishwasher. This is the scullery guy. Oh boy, what a face. Scullery the scullery technician, yes. You have to be specially qualified for this. Why don't you show them how it works? Why don't you, this is a Hobart, look at this, finest. You push the lever, now how do you make it stop? How do you make it stop? You don't, it's automatic. Well, but what if there's an emergency? <laughs> That's one of the problems with the marvels of modern how technology. You, you, you just can't stop it, and then you get all over it. Oh, there, hey. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at. If you lift the handle, it starts. You push the handle down, it starts. It's incredible. Let's see how hot this water is. Oh, my, my. Don't want to stick hooks. There, get the focus. You don't want to be sticking your hands in there. It's 143 degrees. And, of course, these are some of the plates that he washes. Well, let's see. Oh, they're short. There's, this is Spielberg. There's Smitty's uh, half-brother. The other, that's Beaker, yeah. Is uh, the second part of the IQ twins there? <laughs> Where'd Willie go? He yeah, was on the phone. Phone call. Petters Miranda. Uh, we'll leave these guys for their meal, and I'll go put this down, and uh, we'll take this up later with a tour of the ship or something. Well, we're going. Oh, get up. Yo, it's for mom and dad, okay? Okay, I finished lunch. We're gonna give you a little tour of the ship. Eric's on the camera. Show him the boat. 
We're high tide right now, and that's, that's the Okona. Here, do it slower so they can uh, see the whole thing. She's a beauty, all right, jeez. Heck of a boat, heck of a boat. We put a new battery pack in the camera, so hopefully uh, it's gonna work. Why don't y'all? Uh, that's our quarter deck check. That's where uh, we have uh, one guy stands watching there, make sure that nobody uh, gets on the boat not supposed to be here. Oh, let's show him my new motorcycle. I uh, I bought a dirt bike when I was in. Uh, that's my bike. Can I show him my bike? Isn't that nice? A Honda 500. I bought that in Seattle for $550. I'll probably sell it before I leave here for about $800, $900 maybe. It's a heck of a boat. Oh, there's a there's our fine upstanding. Come here, come here. This is a Seaman Wodak. Salute for him now. He makes sure that nobody gets on the boat that's not supposed to be on the boat. He sits in his little booth four hours at a time. No, you can't do any of that while you're in there. That's a striker. Yeah, yeah this, is, <laughs> this is what the quarter deck shack looks like, boy. Control, this is what it looks like. When control it's not central. Guys. This is control central. That's everybody. That's a board and a shore. That's, gosh, it's just amazing. Those flashing lights tell you if anybody's on the phone. Oh yeah, it's incredible. That's the, the chair there. Okay. Okie dokie, we're gonna go on to the boat now. This is a prow, not a gangway, it's called a prow. The freaks and the freaks. You know, you got a, I've got uh, Kevin McGilvery's jacket on, by the way. I haven't changed my name. Salute the flag. You salute the quarter deck. Watch that last step, Eric. It's a dilly. There's the next step. There you go. Yeah, Eric's having a heck of a time. Let's show you the tour here. Our flags are at half mast, by the way, because uh, that plane crash last night where 258 what was that, Rangers died. They're on the way home. This is an anchor windlass. This is all deck gear, it's called. It's how we lower our anchors. Watch this. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Come on all the way up here. This boat's so nice, we came out of the yards. You can keep your other eye open. That's a much easier way of doing it, Eric. Keep uh, bumping uh, into things, you know? I lose ya. This is our fire monitor, this is great. We loosen this baby up here. We loosen this baby up here. We can point it right at the camera. That's old woman mountains behind us. All of it up in the fog there. This is a typical Kodiak day. There's the old woman. Goes all the way up into the fog there. Show them the rest of the base. If you can zoom in, there's the uh, air station. Show them the air station there, Eric. I don't know how to zoom in on but, this. Uh, how do you zoom? You zoom like, there you go. Oh, okay. That's a zoom. Is it in focus still? It sure is. There's a C-130 transport plane right there on the left. That's a big one. If you go a little to the left, there's a couple of Helicopters, an HH-52A, HH-52, and an H-3 behind it. Coast Guard helicopters. Yep. That's the exchange building. We'll go over there later. I'll show you the inside of it. It's a brand new building. They just built that right before we left to Seattle. And it's the biggest shopping mall in the entire state of Alaska. It's got all sorts of stuff. Okay, yeah, over there. We'll go over there later. Show them the cutter. It's called that beautiful building over there made of sheet metal is... Uh, Got a store on the left-hand side for supplies. It's only, it's not a for for us. It's just to pick up ship supplies. And right by that little truck there, those little blue doors. That's called the Cutterman's Club. That's for all us people who live on boats. We go there. There's a pool table and showers and stuff like that. Don't trip on the bits. I'm gonna have to lead him around like a blind man. Yeah, zoom back out. There we go. Okie doke. You're fine, you're fine. You're gonna walk into the windlass. There we go. <laughs> There's all our firefighting gear. We painted all this in the yards. It was crazy job. Let's see what kind of There's our ship's bell. Oh yeah, show them that. Is that something? Boy, you're a heck of a cameraman. Boy, you're hired. There's another one of our boots. Hard at work. He's got duty today. Does he look happy about it or what? Extra duty. 
he's got extra duty because he was raising the flag and he accidentally almost raised it upside down. Somebody got mad at him and the poor guy's got to raise flags every day until next Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's happy about that too, you know, anything to learn. Fun. It's a lot of laughs. Rubber boat too, one of our life rafts, 15 man life rafts. We can put everybody in these boats. We have a lot of drills. We'll try to catch the drill tonight. There are. Let me explain how duty sections work. Duty sections are, uh, there's four different sections in the boat. So each person belongs to one of four different duty sections. This means that uh, every fourth day you have to stay on the boat and you work late. You know, like I said, we're on what they call Arctic hours now. Arctic hours are, uh, we work straight through from seven until one, eat lunch at 1.15, and then you have off the rest of the day. It's kind of nice. There isn't that much to do right out here. It's gonna get dark, let's see, it's, Three o'clock and now it's gonna be dark in another hour out here. It's dark until about 10 o'clock in the morning too. Look, you know, this is our brand new toy. Boy, I'm excited about this. This is our bridge, R-H-I-B, bridge and hall inflatable boat. We just got it in Seattle. It's a new standard issue for the Coast Guard. Go around here, you'll see a better view of all the controls and stuff. And I'm gonna be learning to drive this. This is going to be my job once we get on our next patrol. Like January 16th, we're gonna get underway. So that's about, uh, what, nine days after you see this, we're gonna be pulling back out again. And we're gonna be using this underway to do a lot of patrols and go all over the place. You're a heck of a camera and you're gonna make them seasick. Oh, yeah, here, let's show them what it looks like when you get when you get seasick. I mean, here, just, oh my goodness. Anyway, this is what it's like when you're underway. It's just crazy. And if, if Mike Smith gets to watch this, he's probably gonna be running into the head. Yeah, that's just like, okay, enough of that. This is our other little boat, our other small boat. It's a fiberglass hull. We lower it out with the double booms right there, and it has more capacity than this inflatable boat. This is called an MSD, or motor surf boat. We use that a lot during the boarding, so we put it over the side, put every, all the crew in, and we go over one of these fishing boats. Now, let's see if Eric can climb a ladder with that camera in his hand. We're gonna go up here on the bridge. Oh, that's pretty good, Eric. It's pretty steep. Let's go up on the flying bridge. You're pushing it. <laughs> hey, you're allowed to talk while you're doing this, Eric. That's okay. <laughs> Did you trip? Nah. Uh, okay, he's on set. These are on. This is our flying bridge, highest point except for the crow's nest up there, show them the crow's nest. You don't go up there because you might get shot by one of the antennas and stuff, you have to have special permission to go up on the crow's nest. This is the flying bridge, this is where our lookout stand. I just finished sewing this today. I bet you my mom's impressed. I sewed this, I sewed, show them all the other covers. I sewed all these. I'm now the sewing machine guy. Nobody wants to mess with it. I wouldn't brag too much about the sew job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Velcro, quick tear away. These are our, uh, we call these big eyes. These is a massive set of binoculars. Hey, look, if you put your camera right up against that, you see a really neat shot. Can you see it through there? Hi, Eric. <laughs> wow. These things are, are incredible. You can see the clouds 10 times closer than they are uh, without the big eyes. Let's cover back on. Yep, my job to now take this place. That place we filmed yesterday, uh, when I first started last night, that's called the Bosun Hall. We'll go there later. And that's uh, now my responsibility, all, issuing all the tools. <laughs> Excuse yourself, Eric. Excuse me. That's not nice. Eric just ate too. I had to wake him up and go film this. He was taking a nap. I went and tugged on his feet and asked him to go be cameraman. Yeah, I'll let Eric uh, narrate the next part of this because he looks like he's getting tired. He keeps switching hands. Don't shake your head. I want to be cameraman. Okay, that's what I did. No, no, no. Yes, yes. What a hell! Yes, yes, yes. What a hell, hell you! Oh, what there's, there's Cheaty. What? What a hell! I wonder if they can hear that. That's Paul Cheaty, one of our friendly radio men. Uh, he's uh, a 
pool shark, as you can see, he just won those five pool cues uh, off of somebody the other day. Yeah, that is the meanest bear hunter I've ever seen. That's right, he sticks them on those sticks. Okay, anyway, we'll uh, switch off. Uh, you'll, you'll recognize Eric, he's, he started growing a beard when I started growing a beard when he's got one and I don't yet. Okay, so why don't you hit the stop button there, I'll do it for you. Okay. Okay, hang on, I don't know, I am not filming yet. Okay, there's Eric. He's the guy lighting a cigarette here because he thinks it's salty. Oh boy. You're not saying anything, Eric. I think you're out of focus. Let's uh, zoom in there. There, there's Eric. It's a windy day out. Typical Kodiak weather. But we love it. We look forward to this every day. Now, to continue our tour, we're going to head on back towards the back into the ship here. We'll call it the fantail. Okie doke. We'll follow Eric. Z Mello. My jacket on it. USCG. That's right. He didn't steal anybody's jacket. He is wearing his own. Somebody took mine a couple weeks ago, so I always uh, end up wearing somebody else's. My, my, are those stairs steep or what? That's called a ladder, not stairs. We have to translate that, you know, so civilians will understand these languages. That's right. As you can see, that's the emblem for the Coast Guard right there. That's the Coast Guard emblem. You use that on everything relating to the Coast Guard. That's right. Hey, makes me proud. This right here is our main fire monitor. This is. Oh, our, let me get it around behind. If we you. have a major fire on the ship, this station right here has hoses that reach all over the ship. It packs the most water. What it pumps out a minute, I couldn't tell you. I know, I know, I know. Alex. On a four inch, on a four inch hose, you're going 400 gallons a minute. Two and a half inch hose, 250 gallons a minute, and so on and so forth. Very good. I was going to say that. Yeah. Now we're gonna I've been you. studying my courses, Eric. We're going to show you the bridge. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is what I'm going to be working at. I like to step forward. Uh, Eric is uh, training to be a quartermaster, which is a navigator. I'm uh, training to be a bosun mate, so not the same thing. This is the bridge. Yes, keep it clean. This is for mom and dad. That's it. Okay. Uh, who said that? So what? Okay, you know. This is the helm. This is what we steer by. Works very nicely. It's a steering wheel. It's a steering wheel, correct. <laughs> it's a steering wheel for the boat. You have your compass, gyro compass, rudder angle indicator. This here's our radar. It's not working. No, not not the camera. I mean the radar. And of course, it's not plugged in. I thought they were going to turn it on. No, we're saving electricity. No, uh -huh. Coast Guard's cutting back. This is your typical quartermaster. This is Petty Officer Walden. Oh, let me zoom in on this boy. Oh, boy. What a face. What a face. He's got a beard, too. He's a navigator. He doesn't look like it, but he is. No, he's a I don't good, talk either. He's a eh. good guy. Oop, blew it there, huh? Smoking on the bridge. Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Use the ashtray. This is the engine order telegraph. This is what we decide where our engine speed's going to be. Move these forward or back. And down in the engine room, they know exactly what we want. I pick up the engine speed to that. I wonder if this is going to be really strongly backlit since you're in front of windows. Let me uh, switch it over to uh, indoor. We're going to go back outside again. We're going to go back outside. Okie doke. There's nothing more interesting here. Adios. Oh, no. There's nothing interesting whatsoever. <laughs> I'll switch it back from uh, indoor to outdoor. Oh, that would be cool. Give him a toot on the horn. Yeah. No, I don't think he's going to do that after all. Well, that's asking a lot. Push the captain here. <laughs> yeah. Continuing on our way down to the fan tail, we'll take that nice ladder, or stairs as they're known in civilian way. Down the ladder. Nice steep one. Alex, it's your turn to see if you can make it. Yeah, no problem. I remember when I first came on this boat, Eric uh, came out of boot camp with me, and uh, we got here in our nice, bright, shiny uniforms. Oh, there goes my hat. <laughs> oh, I dropped it again. Oh, there we go. That's a buoy tender behind him. Why don't you tell him about the buoy tenders? Well, that one right there in particular is called the iron pig, or iron wood. That's yeah, what they, call it. they do a lot of heavy work. They're always painted black. There's two of them. There's one behind them there. And they uh, maintain all the aids of the navigation, all the buoys. There's our flag at half mast. There's Eric again. God, what a guy. Okay, continuing down to the fence here. 
Oh, show him. Hold on. Let me go first. Show him how you're supposed to do the ladder in a salty fashion. Here, I'll go down first. Oh, my. Now, the way I just walked on is the way your normal boot or civilian would do it. Eric will show you how it's done. That's the way you go down a ladder. How are your ankles? My arms. <laughs> this is the fantail. This here is our zodiac boat. It's used for a quick search and rescue. You need to get someone on board very quickly. This will do it. Take people ashore. Things like that. The way this works is this whole cradle is picked up with these davits, pushed over the side, and the whole cradle is lowered into the water. The boat then floats out of the cradle and takes off, and they raise the cradle back up and bring it aboard again. I hope this thing's still running. Right here. As long as you get the green V. Yeah, the numbers are changing and the green V is lit. Okie dokie. I have to put out my cigarette now. We're getting too close to the gas. Yeah, that tonight. yellow line. I just painted that the other night. Boy, oh boy. That yellow line means, let's look at the sign. The yellow line says, gasoline hazard area, smoking, open flames, or use of tools which may produce, and so on. I guess you can read it yourself. <laughs> Gee, why am I reading it to him anyway? That's because, why, why is that gasoline in danger area? Because those drums right there. Those are filled with gasoline for our new rigid hull inflatable and for our Zodiac. And explain to them the quick release mechanism. It's nifty. The quick release mechanism, in case there's ever there's, a fire on this vessel. Or there's, there's a lever right there. Fire. Pull a pin, lift up on the lever, drops off those two. Same on the other side, you drop off the other two. It just breaks that strap and those suckers just go right over the side. Okay. These are our mooring lines. I used to be able to break these when I was younger. <laughs> Old age is getting to me. <laughs> Here we have a blue tarp. We always keep that on the fan tail. Yeah, that's uh, beautiful. There's the lazarette. We have fire hoses just about everywhere you look on the ship. Fire is the worst thing you could have on a ship. Not like in, on land where you have a fire, you can run from it. When you're out to sea and you have a fire, you, you have no place to go. You've got to fight it, or you're gone. So They're going to have a fire drill later today for the duty section. We'll try to film that. Uh, should it should be, be pretty funny. Tell them about how many of you guys. How many of you guys have got on the boat right now? Well, I'd say we've got approximately 13 new people on, right out of boot camp. And they have no idea what's going on. We're old salts by now. And they've never been out to sea. Uh, half of them don't know the port from the starboard. And it's pretty interesting when they do have drills, because these people look like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Guys, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, where to now, boss? Uh, let's go Let's go on inside through the DC shop and go all the way forward and walk our way through the ship. I'm going to have to switch the indoor here for the color balance and stuff. See, handling a camera is second nature to me. I mean, obviously, you can see that the camera work is vastly improved now that I'm on this end. These are the life rings. They have a string tied to them, so in case the guy can't grab hold of it, he might be able to tangle himself up in the line. Show him the little flasher. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. This right here is for ignite. It's attached to the life ring, and when it's thrown in the water, it automatically turns upside down and starts flashing, so you can see where that person is at night. Nothing handy unless the battery. We do that in drills, too. We have a little uh, dummy we call Oscar. And uh, we throw him over the side, and then we practice. Everybody goes to their stations, and uh, we turn the boat around, and we bring the dummy back on board. I was a swimmer, which meant I had to put on a wetsuit and go in there and swim out and get him and pull me in on the line. After you, Eric, after you. We'll switch the indoor thing here. This is the DC shop. If you take a look around, this is where all the damage control work is done. And this is where they fix and build everything. All the welding on the ship is done here. All the metal work of just about any kind is done here. Basically, most of the tools from the shipper here. That's something. Right? That's really something. Next, we have the mess deck. This is where everybody chows now. We already saw this, but okay, let's do this in order so that everybody can see it. You notice Eric takes off his hat as he goes on the mess deck. Do you want now, to tell them why? Simons, it has been requested you to contact the quarterback, Chief Simons. In the days of the old wars, when people were injured, they came in so fast they didn't have time to put in the hospital, and the hospitals were so crowded, 
They used to have to use these tables as hospital beds, and they'd lay the dead in here, or the sick and the injured, and they'd treat them in here. Uh, is my lens sparking up on the on that? Is. Okay, we're gonna have to take a break now until the lens defogs. Come on. There we go. This thing's ready. You, you're recording already. Mm-hmm. Oh my my! You're gonna have to, you're gonna be able to get that close to me. Oh yeah. Okay, it's after dinner. Live from Kodiak. It's the Alex Elliot Hour. Da, 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 da. Come here, Bob. From Rico, I, want, I want you to meet. The perfect Christmas gift. Hey, your own little Alex Elliot doll. Da, 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 da. He ties knots. He paints walls. He does anything you want. Scrub the floor, Alex. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Come here. I want you to meet this person. This is my friend, Petty Officer Bob. Petty Officer Bob. He's a huggable, soft, <laughs> washable, machine washable kind of guy. He's got a beard, too. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Petty Officer Bob promised to take us four-wheeling, so we're going to take this camera. He's got a four-wheel drive truck. Let's do that seasick thing again. Oh, oh my. Yeah. It's terrible up here. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were showing the movie to Smith. Okay. Oh. And anyway, oh, is that right? Yeah, oh. we we're making it go like this. This is the forward most part of the ship inside except for in here but we can't go in there because it's locked i uh, used to have black curly hair and then uh i was a drug addict no. for a long time oh look at this sterilized milk yes <laughs> it's warm is that, is, is that like legal the, yeah it'll stay this is what we call chemical cow it's sterilized milk it will stay on the shelf for four years Pretty good, huh? Yeah, you're an amusing kind of guy, I Bob. <laughs> okay, Mr. And Mrs. A, uh, E. 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 And, oh, and my sisters. Okay. Vera, Marta. Oh, what? Hi, Mira, Mara. Vera. Hi, Vera. Marta. Hi, Marta. George. Oh, oh George! How you doing? <laughs> Peter. Peter. And my friend Andy. Friend Andy. Hey, how's it going? We're taking care of him. Oh, he's my buddy. Okay. Anyway, he's going to take us forward. And he's got a, a, a turkey shoot tomorrow, a trap shoot. So he's going to be shooting skeet. Yeah. And uh, then uh, if the weather gets nice, <laughs> we'll go four-wheeling. We don't get much of this up here. Why don't you guys send some of this money? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's the stuff I owe you. Thanks a lot for what you did last night. Yeah. yeah you gave yeah. me a perm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Here's right. Change. All right, thanks a lot. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Oh, who loves you? Okay, okay he'll, hey, show, we'll he'll show us. He'll show us. Bob will be the chauffeur. He will yes. show us the island later. And I will be driving my truck naked. Can we say that? No, don't say that. Sorry. Forget he said that. He's Merry just, Christmas. He's just kidding. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> See you later. Let's see you, Bob. Okay, anyway, this is the forward most part of the ship inside. We are on the main deck. This is where they keep all our great food. I remember right here, when you're on, this is a great place to be when you're not feeling well and you're in 20 foot seas and the whole ship's going like this because you can get airborne here just by standing here. You bounce around like a piece of popcorn. I was uh, unlocking this lock once and I hit my head on the overhead, but just when the, when the boat drops out from under you. Anyway, show them the bread and we'll work, walk our way out of here. This is a, a fire station. These are portable uh, pumps right here. Yeah, and get around there, Eric. These are uh, portable pumps that uh, pump 250 gallons a minute, P250. Take two. We're still having problems with the battery pack. I'm going to have to take it back to the exchange where I got this thing because the battery seemed to last for a whole five, maybe ten minutes, and then you go out and recharge it for a couple hours. And then... But anyway. That's here, firefighting stuff. This leads out to the uh, forecastle up on top where we had we saw the anchor windlass and all that stuff. That scuttle leads out of there. Let's go below. Let's show them the laundry plant. <laughs> These are our uh, washing machines. They're worthless. We only use them when we're tied up somewhere where we don't have the uh, Cotterman's Club that I pointed out before. There's the uh, laundry machines and such. And, uh, by the way, uh, I hope you like the outfit. Uh, I don't remember where I got, I think I found this sweater, not the shoes, I think I found this sweater, I don't remember where I got it, but I like it. Oh, let's lay below, that's another nautical term, gosh aren't we salty, lay below, not go downstairs, but lay below, and in Eric's case it might be fall below. Stop the wolf. 
keep it in your teeny little lock, because you need all your extra stuff here. It's locked. It's so secure. Either some kind of pump or other. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. And there's gauges for the same pumps. Uh, look at it. They've got dials and numbers and everything. Now, behind Eric, over this way, we have the paint locker. And say, isn't this a treat? Because we have a, uh, a person. Why don't you look up? It's Stephen Condon, and he is washing a paintbrush. We keep every all our flammable store. We keep all the paint and uh, paint thinner, and that sort of thing is stored in the paint locker. The paint locker can be uh, closed just like this. See you later, Condon. And uh, we close it in there. We dog it down. We secure all these things called the dogs. Right here, that's a dog. Lock it down. And that way all the flammable storage materials are down low. If there is ever any problem with it, there is a show of the CO2 alarm. There's a big system which floods the compartment with carbon dioxide. Yeah, this is the thing to activate. That's the alarm. And uh, the big system will flood the compartment with carbon dioxide. Uh, 20 seconds after the alarm is sound, it gives you a chance to get out of there and dog it and hopefully it'll put out any fire in there. Turn the lights off. Just, just a joke. Oh my goodness. friend the X Men. This is this is a guy that's trying to be like him. Pick up your hat so they can see you. <laughs> Usually uh he just got a haircut because he was made to get a haircut. Oh it's a friend of this is uh this is for my parents. This is for my parents and my family and mom and dad. And uh, we call them the uh, Ellie's Mr. and Mrs. Ellie. And 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 Vera Alex. Marta. <laughs> that's it. And my sisters and brothers and anybody and everybody who might be there. Uh Axe here uh What's your real name? Randy. I don't know. Nobody's told me. Randy Maselli. Nobody's told me. Right, they call him the axe murderer because uh, when we get underway, he does not comb his hair and ends up looking sort of like this. Show him the axe murderer look. This is this deserves a close-up. Give him a zoom. Show him what an axe murderer yep. looks like. Yeah, this is why we call him axe. No, give, give him that. Give him a nasty face. No, come. No, no, you can do better than that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Hey, yeah, this, no, this is our buddy axe. He's, He's wearing his uniform, I'm not. He's got duty. Okay. Okay. Oh, We're talking to my parents here. Say hi, this is this is Petty <laughs> Officer Scott Lost Glenn. And he's giving X a hard time. Like he always he's does. supposed to be working. This is Scott, he's a he's a bosun mate second class. My god, does he look salty or what? He's from North Carolina. Yeah. That's right, that's uh sorry. It's worth it's worth it. When I when I eat French fries, I just rub them off this guy. Yeah. Scott's uh, been teaching me a lot about boats and mates and stuff like that, and running small boats. And he's trying to help me with those courses. Yeah. Anyway, that was Scott. That's that's the guy I answer to directly, and then he answers to the next guy up the chain. We don't take we don't take kind of the changes around here. We don't like changes. We don't like chains either. No change. Been on this boat since this wet, was wet a boat. Paint. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> the paint is wet. Gee, it would be great if you could touch things with the camera and smell things. These are, uh, this used to be where the old head was. Uh, they tore it out in the yards and they gave us that little one and they called it an improvement and built it to Uncle Sam. You know? This is a uh, float coat. Uh, you float if you wear it. This is a dirty one. This is a Mustang suit. We wear these when we stand watch outdoors on when we're on the way. It'll float. It's got a little inflatable collar in it. Keep your head out of the water, got a little hood. Uh, supposedly it's uh, instead of dying and within five minutes if you fall overboard you wear one of these you'll die in an hour. Open it up so you can read the back of it. Oh, oh yeah. Isn't this nice we did all the lettering and stuff. Boy, this is us. Yokona. Explain what the lettering is. USCGC Yokona W-H-E-C, W-M-E-C, I thought it was on the screen. It says W means Coast Guard, medium endurance cutter, 
168 is the hull number. It's painted on the hull. Like I painted it when we were in the yards. We have these uh, high-tech, high-security lockers, as you can see. <laughs> these are, uh, I don't think anybody has a combination that's safe. I think you have to be uh, the security cleaner. This is another high security area, my goodness. Check this out. This is known as a, this is a repair locker. This is a standard, uh, over here, over here. This is a standard Coast Guard. You got, you sure you're in focus and stuff, right? Uh-huh. Okay, this is, a, this is an oxygen breathing apparatus. This thing is what you wear when you fight fires and such. We wear drills. Again, if we catch this drill tonight, we'll be able to see people putting these on. You put this on, these little canisters chemically generate oxygen so that you can go into smoke-filled compartments and, uh, and such to fight a fire. You have all our other firefighting gear and such. It's, all our firefighting gear and such is in here. We have uh, air movers. Red Devil. Yeah, you know, Red Devil blower to blow out the smoke stuff. Hard cat, hard hats. In case a building falls on top of you. Um, more hard hats. Well, we, got, we got we got a bucket here. These are these are of utmost importance in fighting fires. We got shoring. Shoring is, uh, show them the shoring over there. I don't know if it's, it might be too dark in here. That blue thing and that red thing over there, there was a shoring. You, uh, put them up against the overhead when the beams are collapsing and you crank it up and it keeps everything from coming in on top of you. But it may look disorganized, but actually we know where everything is. And, uh, I'm going to try to show them the drill today. You got a drill? Yeah. Should be. They, they've been doing duty section drills all week. You know? Sometimes we have all hands drills, which means that's usually during the working day or when we're underway. That's Paul Diefenbach. Give, give us a hand for Paul. Hey, Mom, what's happening? Mom, brothers, brothers sisters, sisters, everybody. Let's brothers. not leave anybody out. Yes, no. The whole Elliot McCann. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> he's, he's a heck of a guy. A regular teddy bear. Right? Oh, hey, come in here. <laughs> There's more shoring. Right. Yeah, there's some destroying. Yeah, I failed right. to point that come out. Come on in. Come on, don't be shy. See, we have it's remorse short. Short. It says wet paint here, too. They got Mustang suits. I showed them that. Oh, all right. I've been giving Lockers. a heck of a tour. I just, I did this. There will be a quiz, by the way, people, at the end of the tour. Uh, Do you know is. where everything is? Yeah, this is This is a... This is the original cruise wreck deck. There's more room. What are you? Big time wrestling. Big time wrestling. Folks. Yeah, we have, have educational programs constantly running 24 hours, 24 hours a day. This is our first class cook there. It makes a heck of a chili. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is our uh, the old Coke machine morale purposes and stuff. Ship's office. It's locked, gosh. The security around here overwhelms me. This is petty officer birthing. This is where anybody who's a petty officer gets to sleep. Notice, come on down here. Notice how much more luxurious these quarters are. You know, all this room, all this space. It's I mean, what more could a person want? This is the incentive for making petty officers. <laughs> is be able to sleep in here. They, uh... Whoa, let's go this way. They have their own lounge. Pull that sign. First class petty officers have their own place to watch TV. So we can't go in there. So we'll just tell you what it's like. There's a TV set and some chairs. And the petty officers have a much, much bigger head than we do. Uh, two showers. Look at these things. They replaced our old showers with these so they, so you wouldn't use too much water. I think my dad can uh, understand that. He put restrictor nozzles in all our showers. This uh, little push button gizmo. So we're taking sea showers because water is a scarce commodity, believe it or not, when you're out at sea. We have to make our own fresh water. So we're trying not to make you use too much water. And we'll just, boy, and we have so many new guys on these, these things are always spotless. That's just incredible. We have suction. Yeah, the, their urinal does the same thing ours does too. 
Only they have louder. Uh, yeah, only louder. That was. It's it's so such, such high technology. Oh, it's dark in here. Let's see if we can turn on this light. Oh, another kind of airplane. We should we show them the main hole? Sure. Why not, right? Here, just bring your camera down here and stick it, sweep it around. That's our main hole. This is where our main gyro compass is. Yeah. Oh, you gotta point it down a little bit lower. Eric's trying to do this by sticking the camera down here. We don't want to go down this ladder. We keep a lot of stuff in here. The main gyro compass and all sorts of gear. This gear would all be tied down right before we get underway. It's not normally just scattered about because it'd be bouncing all over. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, let's head on that. As you notice, when the educational television's on, everyone is fascinated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bolt board. Let's see. See? B-M-O-W. Can you focus on that? That means I'm in charge of these people when we're underway. That's my duty section. Oh, listen to me. Sick bay. Oh, the doc's not here. We have uh, one bed in there. This is where they hand out the seasick pills. Show them this. This is our, this is a chart. A chart is to work on, a map is to look at. That's a map. Down here is a map. That is a chart. When we came back from Seattle, we went up to Hecate Straits to Ketchikan, up through here. Let's see, I, I'm not sure which way you cut around there or whatever. Up towards Juno, and then back around, and out this way, and across the Gulf of Alaska to Kodiak. When we go to Hawaii, when we go to Ref Train in another couple months, hopefully, we'll just go south on the Pacific. There's Honolulu. <laughs> there's Kodiak, there's, there's Jeff, he cooked a terrific dinner today. Good mustard. Yeah, good mustard, mustard was great. <laughs> there's another one of the duty section. My goodness, it's semen Kodak. Same one, work same one we saw on the quarterdeck in the fancy schmancy uniform. Now, Featuring he's working. the latest fashion and uh, leisure wear. That's right. The stains are, are placed by a computer. You know, <laughs> they, it's remarkable what they can do. Actually, let's take a peek in here. This is one of the chief's building areas. Notice, stick your camera in here. They have uh, their own desk and stuff. This is really something. A rare peek inside of a chief's building area. That's what the junior officers also sleep like, like in this kind of area. Okie dokie. Show them where the, the junior chiefs sleep. They all sleep three high, just like we do. You have coffin lockers in here. You lift one of these up, you've got a bunch of storage under there, too. It's called a coffin locker. I've got one of those in my rack. Let's go this way. Oh, this will be fun. This is a B1, the engine room. This is where our engines are, the main engine room. This is going to be a riot. Well, come on down. engineer, you got to be short because you hit your head on everything, absolutely everything. Right, so take a look at these people. So these are the, uh, these are the cylinder heads for the uh, main diesel propulsion. We have four main diesels, one, two, three, and one behind us over there, four. Of course, you'll see all kinds of fire extinctions and such here. This is where the greatest danger of fire breaking out would be with all, the, uh, all this fuel. Snipes, like the fictitious creatures that live in holes and such, because uh, you never see them. They just disappear down below and never come out sometimes.
this is a this is one of our engineers hard at work uh, yeah let me introduce you this is uh, my pal Petty Officer Mendoza remember what I told you about engineers right they're terrific people nice nice guys right. hard at work live where it's warm and hot never see the light of day they call us surface dwellers and anyway we'll go that away Oh well, look, Eric's gonna film himself now, right? No. We'll go down one more level to what they call lower B1. Yeah, you can film me going down. She's at home. Okie dokie. Let's Question, see. Alex. Yes. Um, minor technical difficulties again. We'll continue our tour from here. We'll go aft towards the fan tail. There's not that much more. Is there? There's another fire station. That's the way for this connects with the mess deck. There's our Kool-Aid machine. My god, it's another petty officer. We're swarming with him. Oh, there he goes. Uh, this is looks like a water fountain. Smells like a water fountain. Works like a water fountain. This is a scuttle butt. A scuttle butt. This is what they teach us to call it. That's right. <laughs> We're back in the VC shop now. We were here earlier, if you remember. That's all the mechanical stuff. This is the other side of the VC shop. There's uh, the axe man. He's he's busy prepping and painting. Say hi. That's the axe man. There's Petty Officer who's Osclad, busy supervising. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. And there's some more painting going on right there. It's good. Okay, we're going to stop for a minute here and uh, shut this thing up. We're expecting a drill. And so uh, I'm going to go over here by the repair locker, and we'll just watch everybody get ready. Hopefully it'll go down real soon. Hopefully the batteries aren't going to go off. Notice everybody puts their hats on backwards. They tuck their pants into their shoes so they don't get burning embers in their shoes. The hats are on backwards to protect the back of their necks and they uh, turn their collars up so that to keep the uh, embers out of their uh, out of their shirts. Go grab that one on the door, that's mine. Make sure you get the next OBA. <laughs> That's Chief Sekoulis is going to be grading the drill. He's marking to make sure everybody knows what they're doing. Like I said, we've got a bunch of new guys on here, so we'll see how this goes. They're closing all the watertight doors uh, so that uh, smoke can't spread. Yeah. 
I need to know two in here. Because he's ready, you know what you mean? going right in there. Excuse me, gentlemen. This is terrible. Too bad Chrome wasn't here to give you a good announcement. Oh, he already uh, did an announcement when I was filming up forward. Did he? Oh, yes, he did. It's pretty good, that shit, you know? Excuse my language. It's duty. Oh, you went. There's the Axeman putting on his OBA. Oxygen breathing apparatus. It's a fire blow over. He's never worried. Apparently somebody did not loosen all the straps so Ooh. that the next person could put it on. Well, there you go. I think I'm set for the regular repair party. That's why it's like this. Okay, these are the guys that would be, uh, in the case of the actual fire, would be manning the uh, hoses. Isn't it scary? Yes, isn't it scary? <laughs> this man, our lives depend on this man. No, <laughs> Slap it over your shoulder, Get yourself a hard hat. Yeah, buddy. About a hard hat. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, that's your... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a minute. How many OBA people are we supposed to have here? Four. Neely, number one. Neely. Where's my number two? Oh, Neely. Where's Neely? Not for this road. Hey, come here. What's, what's your book? I've got number two hoses. Silence! I've got number two hoses. I've got number two hoses. Okay, number two hoses. It's coming down from the old one, officer's country. It's going to have to have another length of hose on it and run around behind. No. Drape that mask up under your shoulder. I grabbed the hose and brought it down. All right. Got an applicator. We're re entering the compartment. We're entering from around there. All right. All right. I need enough hose on here to get it all the way around. The Batteries again. This guy's shaving with a knife. He's a brave soul. This is a seaman apprentice Ariano here. He's a, another new guy on this ship. Uh, we'll go back up and see what they're doing with the drill. I missed some of it because of this battery. Tomorrow I'm going to go get some brand new batteries and complain to these people that these batteries only last for five minutes at a time. There's me. Uh, look at that. Here, move, don't, don't put your arm up there. Let me focus. There's me with the camera. Hey. Hey, man, this works for shaving. That, so that knife works for shaving? Yeah. There's my... Mess around that blade. <laughs> At any rate, let's go up and see what they're doing on the drill. They should be running some hoses and such now. Let's zoom back out. Excuse me there, guy. It's the rocker. Yeah. The fire is uh, fire supposedly inside on the back side of that door. They went and led the hoses around the outside. Again, these are uh, duty section drills. When only duty sections here, they're the only ones that are expected to react to the to the drill. Let's see what's going on here. There's our scullery technician. Business as usual. That's right. Cleaning out his scullery. It's crazy, but somebody's got to do it. See, they're training all these guys on how to actually react to fire. When we start drilling seriously, these things move along a lot quicker.
It's like if they, these were charged. This fucking hose would be like a stiff clock trying to put through that hose. Yeah, when this, when this fire maker, when this fucking truck got all over the place. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Overhaul kit! We're on Flim now, you know what I mean? This is Actually, Hollywood. Flip. Oh, God, I don't need to get Training film. <laughs> right, this is how not to do it. <laughs> U.S. CGC Forestall. Section 2, fire <laughs> drill. <laughs> that was because of... Forestall on maneuvers outside Vietnam. They put all the people that uh, supposedly... Uh, section 2 is for those who have made a mistake or two in the past and they've been sent into Section 2 <laughs> to be disciplined <laughs> and to be taught how to, how to work harder and better and such. Right, Axe? Right. All right, <laughs> number 2, hose tender. I need that overhaul kit. This is uh, Seaman Schutzler here. Schutzler is, uh, what is that, a uh, French name? <laughs> Uh, as you can see, he's got a, a few scars on his face and such. Uh, he had a mountain climbing accident when we were in Juneau. Uh, he uh, went face first down the side of Mount Juneau, right? Not advisable. Not advisable. And now, of course, they've got him on extra rations. He's got to eat all the food he can to get his body back up to strength. Uh, why don't you explain to my parents uh, why you take your hat off on the mess deck? I don't think there's an exact rule to it, but it's just done. Uh, Traditional thing, not the way you're hat the galley. Wrong. That's because people died on mess decks. Huh? It's because. Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's, here, Eric will explain it. We started doing this before. There's Eric. Oh, what? Was getting food. Why do people take their hats off in the mess deck? We got fogged up last time we tried to do this. I explained it. It was a tear joke. They got it. I'll do it again. It's because people died on mess decks. It's the next most sterile place to sick bay. That's right. And people during the wars lost sick their lives in the mess deck. Sick bays too full, and they had to have some place to put them. They used these as operating tables. Whatever. And Let's you take your hat off out of respect. We're going to hand the camera over here to Eric. So I'm a And soldier. we're going to finish this. What oh, kind of a, he, he wanted to be a corpsman, too. That's like a, that's like a, a medical technician and such. Boy, that's, that's terrible. Yeah, Didn't know that, that. Say, say, say something in German to him. Warum? Wie geht's? Guten Tag. Auf Wiedersehen. That was Italian. Hey, now I'm just some German. Hey, good night, right? It's a good day. Okay, we're handing over everything to Eric. Here you go, Eric. My hat on. I can't be able to use the shit in pants. Okay, we're going to hand this over now. There you go. Keep the button pushed. Okay, let's go back. Good and tough. This way. Not interrupt the drill. Well, I mean, this is dangerous. Well, uh. Good day, Lee. Good day. This is where we were when we last left off. I hope the batteries don't die on us again. We dug these water tight hatches, so keep water tight integrity there. Oh my goodness. They've dug this one too. Well, let's just go ahead and do the scuttle. I'm gonna shut it off while we go down the scuttle. What's that? I'm gonna shut it off while we go down the scuttle. Okay. You go ahead and stop it. Sure. We're on. We're on? Okay, we just came down that ladder. And uh, we're here at main control. Come on in here. Why don't you tell us about main control? These are both MK types, MK machinery Why don't you tell us all yeah, about these fine dials and knobs we got here? Here, check this out, people. I mean, it's, we can make it go from here. Take it away, Randy. Is this your in order telegraph? Yeah, there's a lot because it's noisy in here. You get signals from the bridge to what speed you want. Four, again, and reverse. Right, this needle will tell you what the yeah. bridge, the one we looked at on the bridge, will move that needle. And then we answer that, when we adjust our controller to adjust the speed of the engines, which in turn sucks more electricity to the motor to make the coil faster. We adjust some of these. Uh, well, uh, That's pretty neat. Now, I keep looking at what, what's this thing tell us? This is your shaft tachometer. Right? Right. How many turns do you make? Tell us how fast the shafts are going. What does this thing do? It turns on the generators. I can read the labels. Yeah, it says put you in auxiliary power, or propulsion power. And this puts you into warp speed. Yep. Uh, these are Impulse our, power, right? These are our alarm sensors. 
Picture. Yeah. And uh, here's some uh, stuffing. These are called uh, styrofoam peanuts. It's uh, more high tech stuff. Uh, and there's the order blank if you want to order more styrofoam peanuts. I alert there. Yeah. Uh, safety, safety, safety. You yeah. wouldn't believe it. We really believe in safety a lot here. Hey, you got your boilers right over there. You got a fire and foam station over there. Yeah, come on. Come on, watch it. This here is where we keep our precious tools. Got one 10 pound. Number two boiler. There's another foam station for you. Oh, we can duck our way through there. Yeah. Hey. Here, here, here. It's the stack. Part of the stack. Down below there are our generators. Watch your head, Eric. See, our stack goes way up there. All the way up out of here. Oh, well, you're not going to be able to see that. It's kind of dark. <laughs> High voltage. Oh, makes me feel good. This here is our number one. <laughs> this is evaporator. a evaporator. Yeah, it's an evaporator. It's a desalinator. Makes fresh water from salt water. That's right. It's something. Pretty neat, huh? Hey, how many hey. gallons of fresh water can we make a day? Oh, probably about 750 <laughs> gallons, I'd say. No, nah, not about, not even close, right? 96, 960 or, or, or more than that, like, oh, oh, up to 1,200 gallons. We, I think we make no, 960. Yeah, with the new yeah. one, I don't know. Oh, no, it was like 960 and we use about 1,200. So we're always falling behind on fresh water. Well, thanks. We'll leave the snipes to their snipe things and we'll go back this way. There's somebody fighting me on the other side. They just fight me. Jeez. We're heading aft in the in the ship now on the uh on the uh, on the two deck, so it's called. This here uh, is the scuttle. This is uh leads you to the shaft alley. It's basically all that is is the uh the uh, main drive shaft's down there. I think you can get it if you look in at an angle. Yeah, that's the main drive shaft. It's nothing exciting. They just paint it down in there. We paint everything that doesn't move. As you notice, we always have watertight integrity. If that compartment floods, this is going to keep this compartment from flooding. This is the uh, electrician shop. This is where the EMs, like that guy Bob who did that wonderful introduction, he's an electrician's mate. Nice guy too. He works in here, he repairs all our electrical tools. Up forward by where the food was stored, by where the dry food was stored is an ele uh, electronics shop. They work on all the high tech electronics equipment, they fix our radars and our radios and such. This is just basically nuts and bolts, cords and generators and stuff. Okay, we're kind of uh, doing some work around here. We just painted in there. Most of this gear is usually stored in there. This is what's known as a hauser locker. A hauser is a, a big, thick line. Big line, it's line, not rope. This is a towing hauser. This is what we use to tow big old vessels. It's a, uh, this is five, no, this is bigger. This is five inch. It's measured in circumference. This is five inch, so. Goodness knows 15. what this is. Is this? 15. Yeah, Bob. At any rate, 
That's a big old towing house. This is what we used to be towed. This is my next sewing project. You notice this is white and all our other covers are blue. We just brought this down today. I am to sew another one just like it to cover that inflatable boat up on uh, the deck. Really looking forward to it. Okay. And this is the after part of the, uh, of the two deck. Decks are numbered. The main deck is number one deck. Anything up above that is numbered with a zero ahead of it. So the zero one deck is the next deck up. The zero two <coughs> deck is the next deck above that. And zero three deck is our uppermost deck. Uh, this is the, the uh, two deck, which is the uh, deck below the main deck. It's the bosun hole. Uh, in Ukrainian, this is where I do my work. There's my vintage sewing machine. The sewing machine itself was uh, first designed in 1914. This is a 1944 model Singer. It will sew through about four pieces of leather and such. And we've had all kinds of trouble with it. I had to take it apart the other day. Chief was really happy because he managed to get the shaft working on it again. And we're still sewing. More noise. And this is the bosun locker. This is uh, what we call the bosun hole. This is where all our tools are kept, all sorts of neat little gizmos and stuff, all our sandpaper. Okay, Eric's backing up here. What did I want to sew my head? Oh, my course books. See, this is my bosun mate course. I have to learn navigation and piloting. I have to learn basic minor aids to navigation. Law enforcement, I learned that well at law enforcement school. Damage control, that's how to repair uh, holes and stuff, and how to uh, fight fires, and all sorts of neat stuff. I have to memorize all these nautical chart symbols. It's a whole lot of fun how to read a chart, but I'm learning how to navigate. I have SAR, that's search and rescue, and boat helicopter operations. Navigation rule, these are a bunch of quizzes on navigation rules. They don't make any sense at all. Boat operations. Line throwing guns and pyrotechnics. Uh, navigation rules. This is really dry reading what kind of lights everybody has supposed to have on their boat and what kind of rules. And deck seamanship, boat seamanship, and the one I'm working on now, another dry book, administration, watch standing, and communications. It's boring. After most part we can get to right here is known as the uh, after steering compartment. In the event of a uh, casualty to the steering system that's on the bridge, that they cannot no any longer steer the vessel from uh, the helm that's up on the bridge, we can steer the vessel from back here. As you notice, we also got storage spaces and such back here. At any rate, if you put this steering selector switch to emergency... Now secure from drill, stall gear, Seaman Neely, lay the wreck deck. Oh, it sounds like Seaman Neely's in trouble, because that was Chief Steinman's voice, and he's a fun kind of guy, but you don't want to get on his bad side. At any rate, you switch this steering selector switch to emergency, you can steer the vessel from back here using the hydraulic system. You have your rudder angle indicator, tells you where the rudders are. You have a gyro repeater. The gyroscopic compass is pretty self-explanatory. It's a big gyroscope, a big flywheel down in that main hold I showed you. It keeps true north. We also have a magnetic compass up on the bridge. We don't have a magnetic here. This will tell you the direction of true north. In the event that hydraulic system fails, we have this big old wheel, which hooks up, why don't you come back here, Eric, and show them. This hooks up to uh, some pulleys back there and goes to some cables, which can manually steer with these big old steel cables, the rudders right there. And you even have a rudder angle indicator. In case that fails, you've got that little red Need that little red indicator pointing to how far you steer your rudders one way or the other. This is our hydraulic steering pumps. Okay, that's the whole ship. We got one more area that uh, we haven't gotten. Let's stop this. We got to go to the lower V2. See, there we're back at the platform, the main control. There's one more compartment we haven't been in. That's down below here. It's lower V2. This is where our generators are. electricity to uh, power a small city. When, when we're in port, 
We don't use the ship service generators. The ship service generators are just for when we're on the way. It's noisy down here when we are on the way. Right now we're hooked up to shore power. We pull our power off to the support center station. Got the uh, engines to power the generator, flywheels and such down there. And we got again all kinds of firefighting devices and such. This a uh, big CO2 system. Okay, it's uh, Saturday afternoon, about 3.30, and uh, the sun finally uh, burned off some of the clouds. This is about the clearest it's been. The last couple of shots you saw were just of around the base. Got a smoke. The duty section is still working. There's Martino. He's even shorter today. Uh, no, it not was, that big now. Yeah, that's about how short he is. This is just for mom. What are you leaving for? Yeah, this is for mom. Hi, mom. Yeah, you're I'm a nice guy. Friday. My plane don't get snowed in or rain. And there's, Great subject matter. there's Davis doing stunt riding on his bike. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go out to see if my uh, new Honda will start up, the one I bought in Seattle. I'm going to try to take you for a ride around the base on my motorcycle. Uh, I've got a roll of tape in my pocket. We'll see if uh, whoever's on the quarter deck will help me tape the camera to my arm and we'll see what happens. Oh, there's the quarter deck shack, but I don't see anybody in there. Oh my, it's 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 Eric. Good job, Eric. Eric, I'm going to need your help for a second, eh, if you would. Life I'm sucks. <laughs> well, he's a cooperative guy, isn't he? There's Eric's motorcycle. Everybody's got a motorcycle around here. Eric has three. I have two. This, There's my old Triumph. It runs, but it needs work. And then there's another one of Eric's one, that white one. And there's the guy that sold Eric that white one. That's his. There's my Honda. Let's uh, go get the helmet and stuff, get the roll of tape out. I'm going to stop the tape and uh, I'll wait until I see if Eric will help me uh, tape this camera to my arm. Getting out here. Okay. I'm dying for coffee. Okay, we're, uh, we're taping now. Got the camera taped to my arm. Let's see how this works. Let's put the keys in. <laughs> this might be pretty funny, so bear with me, people. Put the helmet on. Okie dokie. On. Run. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. It's going to be crazy. See if she starts.
Okay, we're ready to go. I hope this uh, looks like something there. We'll go around the quarter deck. Starting the rain! Or yeah, I don't know if it's in focus. It looks either. like it's black and white too. Don't okay, it? yeah, well, it is black and white in the monitor. Okay, this is a uh, Sunday morning. Uh, that motorcycle ride thing, uh, it was okay, but uh, I, I erased most of it and it started raining pretty hard. I'm in uh, Bob Crumble's truck now. We're going to go take you, uh, show you around. There's the air station. We're driving off of the base. There's a C 130 the transport. There's our XO went by. He drives a checker. <laughs> There's Bob. Oh, oh, my hair's not even combed. Oh, oh. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to take you into town and uh, show you the view off of one of the, uh, the only mountain you can drive to the top of. We're being lazy today. We're not going to drive. We're going to walk. Don't let them know we're driving. Oh, we're going to walk up a, a, a big tall mountain and show you the view. It'll take us 12 hours to get to the top. Yeah, let me show them that, that over there. Ooh, is that beautiful the, or what? Man, it's a sunny day. It's the first one in... How long has it been now since we had a sunny day? I bet you two weeks. Oh, more than that. How long have we been in? Yeah, exactly. Since we've been back from, from Juno. And there's on Mace Mountain. It looks great. like it's all overexposed in my monitor, but uh, I hope it's not. That's a nice sight. Okay. Uh, that's Barometer Mountain. And wait, is that Chief Bruton? Sure, he was wearing a tie. Nice guy. Okay, this is where Ken Bankhart climbed almost halfway up and then fell down and broke his leg. Uh, how's that for uh, that, that, Kodiak that's, trivia? Kodiak trivia. We're on the road to Kodiak here, folks. Just oh, showing yeah, you some of the right. sights. Yep. There's some more mountains back there. Boy, oh boy. More mountains. Who's that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on to your camera. We're going over the bridge now. Okay, yeah. shutting off, starting. Get, tell them everything there is to know, Bob. Well, there's a. What, what's <laughs> the name? Of, what's the name of that bay? That's Chiniac Bay. Yeah. There's Dog Island to the right. There, Near Island. Near Dog right. Harbor. Near Island is that island to the right. That was Dead Man's Curve. We just went around. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, we have telephone calls. Throbbing metropolis here. Yeah, thriving metropolis. Increasing the speed. We're heading into town. Hang on, near hats, everybody. This could be a sensory overload. Ah! That's pretty good. Thank you. I uh... thought there was Oh, wait. The town of Kodiak. There's the harbor. Sure looks like I'm overexposing the bejesus out of this in the monitor. <laughs> it really does. It's all washed out as I'm looking through this camera. If you see nothing, uh, we'll just have Bob describe it for you. Look at all them bears over there! Holy cow! Did Where? you see them? Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's our one and only stoplight. It's green right now. Yeah. Oh, it's Dairy Queen. You know how much they want for those Christmas trees over there? I went over there. They want 50 bucks for a tree. That's so stupid. You can go and cut one down. $50 there's, for a tree? There's Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's out of business. It's out of business. It's out of business because... because. McDonald's. <laughs> there is a McDonald's. Even in Kodiak, Alaska, there is a McDonald's. Hey, check it. Look at that. The girls are out today. The sun must be out. <laughs> Bikinis everywhere. Yeah, right. 
seal for it. Yeah, it tells us, uh... Sure, put on your crash helmet, Alex. Here we go! <laughs> We're going into hyperspace, buddy. The, the one on the right says, uh, how steep the hill is. The one on the left, how far we're uh, leaning to one way or the other. What's the one all the way on the left there, Bob? That means we're out of fuel. Oh, no! <laughs> no, that's my altimeter. We're going up, buddy. That's right. We're, uh... The wild man is we're, climbing. We're in the lower stratosphere right now. That's it. That's good, Bob. I'm filming, now. What? <laughs> well, here we are on top of Pillar Mountain in Kodiak, Alaska. We're going to look to New York, which is... New York! I love New York! Hi, Mom! Tell them what that uh, stuff over there is. Those big things. The square things. No, is that for television or is that for... Uh... No, those are old microwave reflectors from like World War Zero or something. Is that a fact? They don't use that stuff anymore? No. Huh. Alright. Well, this is just really pretty up here today. Yeah, no, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, this is the guy that was apprehended by Smitty, stealing Fruit Loops. Bob was the one that was jamming his pockets full of those crunchy nuggets. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I got that on film. He says uh, that you're... Long, that was a long time ago. Yeah, he says he's your best friend now. Who? Smitty says you're his best friend now. He parties with you all the time. Who said that? Turn it off, man. What? <laughs> Smitty said that? Ah! Oh, God, kill him! Ah! He does this the whole time! Smitty! You're dead, man! V? It says V? Yeah. How's this? Alex, I can't... You know something? This is, something's wrong here. What's wrong? I'm looking... Why is it on? Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Your earth's tilting, huh? There's a, a bay back there. So we, got, <laughs> we got Bob calmed down there. Uh, I like to come here a lot and sit and think, kick the rocks, you know. By the way, Bob's uh, just turned 27. He's been in the Coast Guard, what, eight, eight and a half years now? Uh, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you can believe it, he's halfway, uh, almost halfway to retirement. So, uh, that's what the Coast Guard can do for you. You got it, you got it, here we go. It's a religious experience coming up here. It's beautiful. Oh, we'll take him to the edge and show him the top. But don't point it directly at the sun, it'll blow up. Okay. I'll stand between it you and the so sun. Bam! <laughs> I turned it off. Hey! Did, no, if you let go of the button, it doesn't shut off. Oh, it doesn't? It's no, you running? gotta hit stop. Yeah, it's still running. Look, the numbers Ooh, are okay, changing. Stop. Rare glimpse of one of the indigenous species around here. You're, you're a hunter, Bob. Uh, exactly what kind of a uh, critter do you think that is? Well, it seems to be coming from the some kind of a uh, family called the rock, a rack. Uh, it's spelled R-A-C, but when you look in the mirror, it's car. It's a very small beetle. I think this guy tried to impress his girlfriend by going over the cliff, and uh, well, it looks like they've taken up permanent residence down here in the outhouse. <laughs> Hello down there! Ho ho! Merry Christmas from New York! Boy, this is bright. Oh, this is better. Oh, boy. We drank all that beer last, last night. Not me. Not me. No, Alex wasn't there. He's he's a good boy. Where'd you get the beer? Tell him where you got the beer. Oh, yeah. Well, I won it yesterday shooting a shotgun at uh, defenseless clay pigeons. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get the keep the wind off the microphone because that microphone always howls like yeah. crazy in the wind. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is this is really pretty. So you here. blew away a bunch of clay pigeons, huh? Yeah, and I want a turkey and a ham, and I gave it all away. Hey, is your parents coming up here to? Are are your parents coming up to visit or? I don't believe so. They feel it's rather far away for them. Well, it is true. That is true, but so is Egypt. So come on over here. What the heck? You ever been to Tish Mills, Wisconsin? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see. Well, someone flew this camera up here on a helicopter, and Alex is right behind me. Alex, I'll scream for you. <laughs> I'll say, well, he must have fell down. And then I'll have to go get him. And then I'll just go back, okay? Okay. Does it look like you're on a mountain? Yeah, it does. Get down low. Ready? Okay, you're out of sight. I'm filming the... Here. 
Oh, helicopter must have made it. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. E. Uh, uh. Alex and I just climbed this mountain seven miles high. Whew, just to get a picture for you. Alex! Alex, did you bring some Twinkies? Uh, I don't know about that son of yours. Alex, where are you? Alex, don't pet the bear. Come on. Uh, I gotta go get your son. Alex, come here. Alex. Well, there's a truck driving around. Kind of takes away from there. Alex, don't pet the bear. <laughs> Did you bring Twinkies? <laughs> Alaskan supplies. Wow. <laughs> Distance spitting. <laughs> the Homer spit. <laughs> Okay, I'm filming now. We just got airlifted into the Aleutians. Uh, what's the name of this island? This is at Two Island here, uh, Mr. Mrs. Z. Uh, we uh, we just took a C-130 out here. We said, hey, listen, we gotta do this for the people in New York. Let's go, and uh, here we are. And this is what it looks like. You're gonna have to talk louder. I think the wind's probably howling in the microphone. I said, here we are! Up and at to Alaska! We flew on a C-130 just for you! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> all right, all if right. If you can believe it from the angle of the sun, it's uh, about 11.30. It's about as high as it gets in the sky. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, we have some more wildlife. <laughs> Hunk of metal. Looks like a. Are you serious or are you just fooling with me? I don't know, what is it? Looks like an old caterpillar track. No. No? You don't find that? Not for a minute. I don't know then. Sure, it's for an old caterpillar. And they're growing big around here. You still filming? Is it going to turn into a butterfly? Oh, one of those. This is um, this is uh, your typical military reservation ice. <laughs> this took thousands of years for Mother Nature to make. Whoops! Alex, I dropped the rocks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Ready? I gotta put it on outdoor stuff. Just say, come on, Bob. Let's get out of here. Come on, Bob. Let's get out of here. Coming, Alex! Coming! This one died. Typhoid. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, hey, no. Starting to film, Bob. Oh, sorry. Oh, boy. Look, a fossil. Look right there. I think the ocean came up here once. I think someone spit there. What are you looking at? The troglodytes. <laughs> Great. Okay. You with peanut butter? <laughs> okay, go to your truck, Bob. Again? <laughs> Go to your truck. Hollywood! Yeah, that bee's gotta be on. Uh, the counter's going right now, though. Yeah, okay. Well, are you on record, though? Sure am. Wait a second. Yeah, the bee should be on. The bee's on. Okay, well, let's go. The V's on. It means filming. Well, it was filming when it was off, too. Okay, it was on this side. Oh. Look out for that log, Bob. Ah! No! Thanks. Thanks. Is, uh, I'm going to say goodbye to uh, Pillar Mountain now. This is, whoa, a hole. <laughs> Watch out for the hole, Bob. Where is it at? Whoa. Whoa, you aren't kidding. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. I, wasn't I couldn't kidding. see it. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh man. Hey. You're a heck of a cat. Look at the dirt on my hands. Am I bleeding? <laughs> I cut myself. Look at that. I cut myself. This is, you're a heck of a cat. Get your hand out of there. I'm in pain. Okay. <laughs> that's a Three Sisters Mountain. Oh. And that's a deep this, cut. The sun, shut up. The <laughs> sun is getting low in the sky because it's almost noon. You can see we've got nice long shadows here. Mama, Tata, Vambatun, Padabalusha. Yeah. Take a picture with my camera? No. Doggone it. Uh, that last part I bet you noticed was at a different speed, people. I'm sorry. I, uh...
I forgot the switch. We made made something for Bob. He was filming at a different speed, so that's going to be an interesting effect. This is Petty Officer Bob Crummel's household. So, hey, if you guys ever want to come up, come on up. Uh, you got a place to stay. You can either have the bathtub or uh, you can sleep underneath the bed. It's, it's Mr. Courteous, okay? Hospitality is my middle name. Come on in. See, Bob gets to have, he's a petty officer second class because he's got so much seniority. They gave him a free government household. Again. Amazing. What is this stuff uh, here? Think of a place to put your toys. Hey, is that a new tank? Yeah. Ooh, We're doing the scuba like... thing. Oop! I almost knocked it over. There. We're fogging the lens again. This is this is Glenn Lasso. He's a electrician's el electronics uh, technician there on Are our ship. He's Bob's roommate. Bob's a, is an el uh, electrician there. They're both into electrons, isn't they? Aren't they a friendly couple? Show them your bird! Oh. That's great. This is my bird! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it a nice day out, man? What are you inside for? That's where I'm leaving. You gonna go scuba diving? All right. Might, might go for hey, Glenn, no, no, keep it running. You wanna see something? We're gonna feed this guy some coffee. Oh, yeah, give me some coffee. This is gonna be good. I can't wait. We're at the hotel. Little B should be on. Are the numbers changing? Yep. That means we're recording. This this camera's pretty uh, crazy. No. Yes, you know, for the most part, I've been to many rebellious swim to Paris, and even to the first field, and it was made for the rush in the south of the Mokrema because at the holiday shut down. Yeah, the major thing is that we still show touch me to. No, the end is just like a cast day. Do we show up with the type of topics? Yeah, it's better than Jose Adni Varandi, too, you didn't see it. With this two year old, knock it still in the straw with them, the year the reva. What is this? Sitka spruce, right? Oh, I thought you said that you have to take out the garbage. No, no. I, <laughs> yeah, Sitka spruce. Close, close. You're learning, you're learning. Yes, we I do it. This is the only part of the. That's we, the garbage. We do have to take out the garbage. Yes. Okay, but, sorry. Uh, this is the only part of the island where there are any trees over this end. We need to put out the yellow bridge to have a last year. You turn the map out for your day of an air. Priesty, Prudeli. Ah, I'm a little bit beast, cool. I'm a bit scared, so. Hey, point it back at me, you goofball. I'm telling him something. Oh. Okay, I'm a little bit beast, cool, so. I was a person who was in the school, like I first started to just dance at the school in the 20th century when I was in Yorktown, Virginia. That's Ukrainian too. It sounds like English, but it's Ukrainian. Oh, I believe you, Alex. And yeah, so in the 20th century, I was learning that I was in the school. We didn't have to be sent to the school. Uh. We're getting a battery. Yeah, I know, I know. The batteries are lousy. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go to the other side. 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 I'm going to go Ah, tak što tak što je htio kazati što je budu deš zaki černi, ne na poveni pisati do škole. Je budu na dvanaest tjedan, to ja tedi budu zama možda tjedan će dva i ja bi budu s vama vrući stari. A ljudi piše to, to mu ne bi žena ne pisala on za to ljaska, da ne bi pisala deš na novu stanciju. To ja ne znam, možda bi budu deš blizu vas. Ja bi ljubav kojih budu želi da vrući stari i svih vidite. Well, he can sure rattle that stuff off, can he? Yeah, it doesn't mean anything, but boy, they're impressed. That's. No, I'm impressed. I think that's really neat, man. No, thank you, because I, yeah, yeah, I can't you I can 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 I Povalen novi aparat in novu sistemu i to ja hoću taj sistem da se bude trmate. The Earth is tilting. I think we got an earthquake here. I was going to see what you were going to notice. 
Yeah. Okay, I'll just Where let you, you know. That seasick thing too, you know? Sorry for the big, in, big interruption here, though. But I got a solid B now, so if you're gonna say anything. No, really... I know, I know. That that, that it goes on a lot. Oh, it does. The B means batteries are low, and that yeah. one's supposedly fully charged and stuff. I told him that a lot of stuff we filmed was overexposed. And on the way back, we'll try to get one or two shots of okay. the mountains where it's not all washed out. Alrighty. I told them that you're a fun-loving guy and that they're going to catch up with you. Yeah, there's Bob waving. His hand's better now. That was... I'm no bleed no more, but yeah, I... Yeah, we, were, uh, we weren't kidding. He actually fell in the hole and he did cut his hand and that was by accident. Uh, Bob's got another skeet shoot today. We'll go back to the base and run off the rest of this film. And uh, that's about all I got to say. You know, I miss everybody. Miss the dogs. Hi, Gina. Shut Chat. That means sit. Oh. Chow. Cause you That means sit. Hey. Yeah, you understand. That's good. I sit down. No. <laughs> yeah. Not you, Bob. Not oh. you. And uh, that's it. That's it. Life in Kodiak is nice. I like it here. There's a lot of wilderness and stuff. I'm glad I have that that uh, enduro, that dirt bike, cause I can get up and down all these mountains and stuff. We'll show you a little bit more of the town as we drive through. But Bob has to make uh, part two of the skeet shoot, cause he wants to win another turkey, and another case of beer. And. Uh, that's all. I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you some more when we get back when we get back to the base. Oh, I want to say something in Ukrainian for me. You don't like say. How do you say hi in Ukrainian? The Brady. The Brady's? <laughs> yeah, the Brady bunch. The Brady. That's uh, Brady? that's barometer right there. You Brady? Is that what he said? No, the Brady. The Brady. Get on the top of pillar. How high is that? I have no idea. No, there's no chmar no. But it might be the first day. There's a long time to go, but it's not time to go. I'll probably see you in the first few minutes. Hey, Bob, you're going to have to go back to the base. This is the air station. To the Trumai Fshina Shivulik Litake, a helicopter at Amzadu. There's the main gate and Barometer Mountain behind it. Oh, I think I hear a helicopter. Let's see. There we go, Coast Guard's finest. There's the Yukona. And there's the buoy tenders. The Yukona was first put in the water in 1944, yet we just got a commendation for being one of the finest ships in the Coast Guard and for being the best maintained ship in the Coast Guard. Take good care of it. It's an old boat, but she's really sturdy. There's the rest of Old Woman's Bay. There's a commercial derrick. Sleepy town of Kodiak here. I went and rode my motorcycle into town. Gosh, it's cold. <laughs>
There's the old Russian Orthodox Church in the distance there. You can see the domes. There's about three or four thousand people live in Kodiak as near as I can figure. And they all live on boats just about. As you can see, they're all fishing boats. There you go. Yeah, hey, I'm making a film of Kodiak. It's part of it. <laughs> For those of you uh, who think Kodiak is just a little spot on the map, well, I've got news for you. The list of accomplishments is as long as your arm. 1985 Alaska State Spelling Bee Champion, and don't you know we're all just swelling with pride. This is Menashka Bay. It's about 20 miles outside of town. I like to come here sometimes, sit and think. I was hoping uh, we'd be able to catch some bald eagles. Lots of times you can see them around this area. There's the trail I came across on. Lots of times you can see the bald eagles around here, but they're not here today. I'll just listen to the waves. The best thing about Kodiak is that there are literally thousands and thousands of square miles of completely unexplored island. There's a lot of area and it's so wild and it's so natural. And most of it's really clean and pure. It's nice. In the summer, I used to come here, I'd see uh, whales spouting just off that point. They come across the mouth of the bay there sometimes. I'm really happy with my new motorcycle, though. It's a really practical machine. I get about 50 miles a gallon, and uh, It'll take me anywhere. It's kind of dirty right now. That's for Yurko and Andri. I came over the top of that mountain you see in the back. Along a series of trails. And down that way, across that little inlet. And up here. And it's a good machine. I do have mud all over myself though. There's a box for my video camera.
There's a recent kill I just stumbled across. It's uh, there's a lot of hunting goes on on the island. Although, as you can see, people are not hunting for sport. They hunt for uh, subsistence and for food. So, same as I catch crabs and fish. I really can't find any fault with that. There's a lot of deer on the island.